para makadungog ang tanan. So, we are here to share the gospel to everyone. Amo nga, ibahagi ang uh, Biblia sa tanan para na ito madunggan o kung saan ka matuuran. Because, I guess, everyone here wants to go to heaven. Kaya nasayad kami, nakita ang tanan, gusto kita ito, mga matagam tanan, mataad ito kita sa gingarian sa Diyos. Who wants to go to heaven here? Kinsa ang gusto nga makasunod sa langit. Who wants to go to heaven? Huh? Okay, Ma mom wants to go to heaven. Anyone? Okay, so um, what happens if you want to go to the US? You need to have a ticket. Kung gusto na tong mo ato sa Amerika, kinahangla na atay passport o ticket. So, now the question I want to ask is, who have a ticket to heaven? Do you have a ticket to go to heaven? Mayroon ang pakuta na, kinsa may na ay ticket makasulod sa langit. Who has, a, who has a ticket to go to heaven here? Kinsa na ay ticket para makasulod sa langit? Those who raise their hands. <laughs> Huh? I want to see who have a ticket to go to heaven. No one. We don't have a ticket? No one. Then how are we going to heaven? <laughs> okay. So, we will read in the book of John 14 verse 6. John 14 verse 6 Jesus said to him I am the way, the truth and the life No one goes to the Father except through me Si Jesus mitubang Ako ang dalan, ang kamatuuran o ang kinabuhi Walay makaadto sa amahan kung dili mo agi ka na ako So how can you go to heaven if you have, if you don't have a ticket? Who is Jesus? Because if there is anyone who has Jesus, who will say, yes, me have a ticket, I have Jesus. Because Jesus is a ticket to go to heaven. So... If you don't have a ticket, who is Jesus, you cannot go to heaven. Now, Christianity today is being misinterpreted. The reason is very simple. Because Jesus Christ is not in the hearts of many people. But many people know Jesus but is not in their hearts. Who is a Christian among us? Who is a Christian? Okay, Christian. Anyone? Even you? All of us, we are Christians? Now, I want to read in the book of John chapter 1 verse 12. Here the Bible says, But as many as received him, receiving Jesus Christ. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, even to those who believe in his name. Jesus Christ is saying, only those who have received him. So, you see, if you know that Jesus Christ died for you, you are not a Christian, you haven't received him yet. If I am giving you this face mask, if you don't receive it, it's not yours. But if you receive it, oh, thank you, it becomes yours. 
But you knowing that this is a face mask, it's not yours. So you knowing that Jesus Christ died for you, you are not a Christian yet. But you have to receive him in your heart. So that's the problem with Christians of today. This is what will make people, some people to go to heaven, some to remain here. Because preachers have preached to us about Jesus Christ. We have watched films about Jesus Christ. But now receiving that Jesus in our hearts is very, very difficult. And here the Bible says, those who receive him, Jesus Christ gives the right to become children of God. So do you know who makes someone to be a child of God? It's Jesus. So for me to say I'm a child of God, it means Jesus Christ might say you are a child of God. When you when we got independence from the Spaniards. So now when you are born in the hospital, the doctor will say, Oh, this is a Filipino child. And then they will give you that document, birth certificate. So now, someone who gives a certificate for you to become a child of God is Jesus. Remember that Satan knows Jesus. But Satan don't have Jesus in his heart. So even as we know Jesus. But if Jesus is not living in your heart, you're not a Christian. That's why people can go to church, they come, they drink, they smoke, because Jesus is not inside, it's outside. If Jesus, if Jesus is inside you, you say, no, you cannot smoke because he is inside of you. He will tell you, no, you cannot lie because he is inside of you. But if he is not inside of you, no one to tell you, stop, don't do this, it's wrong. No one to say. So that's the problem. That's why many people who say I'm a Christian on that day, they will be surprised to say, Jesus say, I don't know you. The Bible says not everyone who says, Lord, Lord, Panginoon, Panginoon, you know that. Not everyone. Jesus Christ knows this. Because it's very simple. Everyone can say, I'm a Christian. I know Jesus. Everyone can say that. It's very simple. But are you living the life of Jesus? Even yourself, you can judge yourself. If you die today, can you go to heaven? Can 
Mapunta ba ako kang Kristo? No. Satan will be the one to accuse us. This one is was drinking. If Jesus, if you want to let him in heaven, even me, take me to heaven. Si Satanas pwede mo imon sa mga katawahan o sa tao na mo imon siya na kana siya makasasala. Kung imo na siyang pasudlon sa langit, ako sa pasudla ko. May imon siya sa Diyos. Because the Bible says Satan is our accuser. He, he accuses us every day to Kasi Jesus. Si Satanas yun, maugyo na siya nag-akusa sa mga tao na kanil siya makasasala, makasasala. Inahanglan na ato niya sa impyerno. So, if you think living in sin and then you just go to heaven, you are just deceiving yourself. Kung atong pagtuo na kita nabuhi sa kasalanan, atong pagtuo na makasulog yan po sa saging ni Rian, dilim lang ng niwa ang inong kaumaling ng diligid ka makasulog sa saging ni sa Diyos. Many people that just deceive themselves, I'm a Christian. You are not a Christian. Dagan ka ayong nga mga lin, nalim lang lang sa ilang kaumaling ng na ako Christiano, pero dili tinuod sa iyang mga buhay. Because we don't even know what Christianity means. Kaya wala ka na tanasay kung ang sabi noon, ang, ang, ang kapatuuran sa Christianismo. Christianity came from Christ, the word Christ. Ang buong ipasabot sa Kristyanismo o Kristyano, gikan kini sa pulo nga Kristo. Filipino came from King Philip, that's the name. Mauna nga ang Philippines, kitawag siya Philippines kay tungod kay King Philip. So Christianity also came from Jesus Christ, it's Christ. Mauna yun nga ang Kristo hanon, ang nga lang ini Kristo, Kristo, Kristyano. Now, is what you are doing, that's what Jesus Christ was doing? You see, we say no one can say I'm a satanist. No, no one can say that. But because we know that Satan is bad. But our action is for Satan. But you say I'm a Christian, we don't obey Jesus. Then who is our father then? You say I love you Jesus, but you don't obey him. You say Satan I hate you, but you obey Satan. Then whom do you love? So, even if we say, Satan, I hate you, but you obey him, you, it means you love him. You cannot say, no, I hate President Duterte, but you are also, what is giving, you are also receiving. Say, I hate him. No, why? You know, the manufacturer of sin is Satan is the father. So as long as you are living in sin, you know that Satan is living in you. So kung kasayot tanga kita na ginabuhi pag sa kasalanan, si Satanas yun ang naakan nato. You know the chicken, the mother hen. Makita na to ng ina ng manok o ina hen ng manok. What happens when you take that chick? You run away. What happens? Kung ma unsa pa may tapo kung atong kwao ng iya hang piso. The mother will chase you. Ah, kaya na ang lan nakabulong yung kas sa ina hen. Until you leave it. Hang to gaya mo ginang buya ng iya hang piso. So Satan cannot leave you as as long as you are holding his child. Sin. We say we say this Satan is very bad, but we are holding the the baby of Satan. How can he leave you? So I'm here to tell you that we are now in the last days. Jesus Christ is about to come any day. Some of us, this word we are discussing now, we will remember it. Mahinugduman nga ato kining gidiskusyonan ang 
ang salita ang Biblia. Because for now it seems like we are just wasting your time. Sa pagkakaroon mo rag nagsayang lang ta sa atong panahon. But one day we will remember this word. Pero isa ka araw sa panahon sa paghusga, maatong mahinumduman na uy, nagdiskusyon pala kami ani na kamatuogan. Look, look at how many preachers are preaching all over the world. Kita ba nato sa mga media o nga nagdaghan na kaayong nakaroon nga nagtudlo sa tinuod nga kamatuoran sa Biblia? They are all saying the same thing, repent, Jesus is coming. Nagasultig yun sila nga paghinungsun na kita sa itong mga sala kaya nga itong hinungsun po abot na sa dili na itong masayra. Do you think they are crazy or they don't have something to do? Ato bang pagtuo nga sila mga sila ulong nga wala sila buhat sa ilang mga ginabuhat sa ilang balay they know kabalo sila nasayon sila look before jesus christ was born here on earth bago pa man di pa nga nakang atong ginong jesus dili sa kalibutan we read the bible that three wise men came from the east atong mabasa sa biblia nga tulo kahari gikan sa east following the star Ning sunod sila sa bituon. How did they know that Jesus is born? Giyon sa Manila pagkibalo nga ikanganat na si Jesus. So you think that now today, today of technology, people cannot realize that oh Jesus is about to come. So karon ba na sa iba kita nga ang mga katawhan ngayon kay balo sila sa mga high tech. Wala ba kita na sa iba nga ang mga sila sa iba kay balo na nga mao abut na gidang atong inoon ng Jesus. If that time, thousands of years, people knew that Jesus is born just following the star, they knew, and then it was true. Now, what about this day? And then you are still living in sin as if nothing is happening, it's normal. Look at the pandemic. Can't it tell you something? Since when did we have you heard that the disease all over the world? Our eyes are not opening. But if it's you who die, what are you going to say to Jesus? So, Jesus Christ is sustaining you so that you repent. Jesus Christ is sustaining you so that you repent. Because he loves you so much. He doesn't want you to go to hell. There is hell. Whether we like it or not, there is hell. And then, Satan, the one we call Satan, fears hell. How do we know? Look at what the demons told to Jesus. They begged him. So don't judge us before our time. Send us in the pigs. So they are scared to go to hell. He said, please send us in the pigs. Imagine. So you, do you think then hell is good? So atong pagkauba ang interno maayos yun? They know that one day there will be a judgment for them. Nakabalo sila ang mga demonyo nga isang araw, isang kaadlaw, na agi paghukong nagwabot sa ilang mga... That's why they told him, don't judge us before our time. They know that their time is coming to be judged. Mauna nga nyo sila ganit kay Jesus na, ayaw usap kami gusto guys, sahin wala pa na mga panahon. Ipadala usap kami sa mga baboy, ayaw may padala sa impyerno. But to us people, we think everything is just normal, nothing like that. Pinong kita ng mga tao, wala ka na sayod sa kamatuuran mo, rag normal lang sa ato ang atong pagkinabuti. But one day, you realize that, ha, this is true. Pero usap ka adlaw ni Ana, atong mahintog sa atong una-una, uy. And then that time you will be 
that time you'll be in heaven or in hell with Satan. Sa panahon nga, katunga panahon, sa pag-abot sa panahon, wala ka masahid kung kita na sa impyemo sa nami. So, it's up to you to decide na. Hindi, sa ato lang yung mga kaugali mo mismong desisyon. To hold on to sin or to repent, it's up to you. Kung magpadayon ba ka mabuhi sa sala, o mutuo kita o musunod sa atong ginoong Jesus. The word has come to you in your house. Ang salita o ang pulong sa Diyos na abot na sa inyong balay karong adlaw. See how Jesus loves you. Nasaan na sa'yo kita na si Jesus, gigug magita niya. To send you, you, you to send is is servants at your own house para ipadalangin niyo ang iyang mga alagad sa inyong balay kung inyong gitkinig ipadayon so that you repent para kita maghinulso if you refuse it's up to you kung kita dili gid kita mo dawat ni ini nasa ato alang gihapon kini nga desisyon then the blood would be upon your head so ang ang ato ang inyo ha ang atong dugo ang accountable na nasa inyong mga tagsa-tagsa nga desisyon There is hell. Whether we like it or not, there is hell. It's a very, very, very bad place. Going to hell, it's forever. Say it's like 10,000, maybe 10 million years. No one even started counting for you in hell. Million, million, na panahon ko adit to magpuyo ang makasasala. Because it's forever. Kay ingay mo na kini itay ni tigyod wak na wak na gluy katapusan na pag antos dito sa infierno. It's a punishment for Satan. Ito nga pag pangusa sa mga tao na diha ka sa tanan. But Satan say no, I cannot go to hell alone. Pero naiyon si Satanas ng God nga, ah, dili ko ako sa eterno nga ako ang mag-usa. So, he's deceiving us. Mauna, gagilin lang doon ni Satanas ang mga katawahan. And we are worshiping him by obeying him. Ato siya ang gila, sunod ng God, ni Karon, sa ato mga kinabuhi. So, we must accept Jesus Christ. Mauna nga, ato yung daw atong si Jesus sa ato mga kasing-kasing. Are you willing to accept Jesus Christ? Kita ba na ana ba kita karon nga pagdesisyon nga atong dawaton si Jesus sa atong mga kasing-kasing? To leave the sin. Ato siyang dawaton o isalikway ang sala sa atong mga kinabuhi. Imagine 5 peso or 6 peso of cigarette to take you in hell for the rest of your life. Kung makapalit lang sa 5 ka peso lang o 10 ka peso lang Mauna, mupalita o sigarilyo, mauna yung makadala sa ato sa impyerno, ayaw na lang kanyang buhata. Just think of it. Isa likway kinin na tanan. Maybe 50 peso of just a bottle of beer, I take you to hell for the rest of your life. 50 peso, mupalit lang ka o alcohol na inon, makadala rin mo sa impyerno, ayaw na lang kanyang buhata. It took Jesus to die on the cross. Nagpakamatay si Jesus sa imuhang ka lang para ikaw maluwas. If hell was not bad, why did Jesus die then? Kung di, gil masama ang impyerno nga nung nagpakamatay pa man si Jesus para ka nimo, para ka maluwas. So, and then we are playing with our lives. So, karon, parang nagdula-dula lang yung hapunta sa ato mga kinabuhi. When you die, when kita mamatay, that's when you will know that, ha, this is what happens when I die. So, kung kita mamatay, dito na na tumabalan ako You even pray for God to give you another chance to come here and repent, but it's too late. So if you don't decide now, it's up to you. Huli na ang lahat. Karon o karon pa lang, maghinulsula ta sa atong kasala, atong dawaton si Jesus. So, worship the only true God, not idols. Atong simbaho ng tinood na Diyos, dili ang mga idolo. Only the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, that's so. Sa pangalan lamang sa atong Diyos, Ama, Diyos, Anak, o Diyos, Espiritu Santo. Not Muhammad, Joseph, or Mary, no? Si Muhammad, si Mary, si Joseph, wala, dili na sila. Prepare your heart in these last days. Kinahanglan ato ang dami ng ato mga sikasik sa mga huling mga araw. Wants to to repent and accept Jesus. Kinsa po ang ang maghinulso ng 
hinulsol na karon sa adlaw. Karon nga adlaw ang maghinulsol og dawaton si Jesus sa ilang mga kasikasi. What kind of sin have you committed that Jesus cannot forgive you? Unsay klase nga sala man nga imong nabuhat nga dili ka pwede pasay noon sa atong Ginoong Hesus? Imagine the criminal on the last day repenting to Jesus. Nayo nang usa ka criminal nga gilansak sa krus, nayo sa siya kang Hesus. On the last day, criminal said, "Please, so, Jesus, forgive me." He knew that this Jesus can save my life, even if I'm a criminal. And true, Jesus said, "Today you'll be with me in paradise." So if there's hell, then there's paradise. So kung dun na impero nila, dun na ilangi. So it's up to you to choose where to go. So I will ask again, who wants to accept Jesus Christ now? So that we pray together. Para kita magampo kita, kita tanan magampo sa ginoo. Thank you, thank you so much. And anyone who is willing? Willing, they're also willing. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Thank you so much. Yung willing lang, ayaw ko sa. Amen. Dilipin ng boss ha. So, okay, we are all raising our hands. This commitment you are making, not to me, not to me, but to Jesus. Kaniyang ato karon na pagkumita sa ato mga kinabuhi. Dili niyo gikumita ang inyong mga kinabuhi. Dili ka namo habit po sa ato ng Dios. Right now we are going, but Jesus is going to remain with you. Karon karon dayon, hindi ka huma namo kami mo paulin na. Pero ang ginoo ng Jesus magpabilin sa inyong mga kinabuhi. Remember that one day, every one of us, each will face Jesus. Ato yung inyong duman na sa usah ka adlaw ni Ana, na yun na yung usah ka adlaw na mo atubang dito sa atong ginoo ng Jesus. And to ask you what you did here on earth. Manguta na siya kung sa may imong gibuha dito sa. So, so if you didn't prepare yourself, you are still living in sin, lying, drinking, smoking. It's up to you. Mao na ako dili ta maginungsul karon, dili ta mo tani kung sa atong masala, pagino, pagsigrino, pagsugal, pagtanan, ngabuhat o pag pamakak tanan ngabuhat o dili pag pasaylo, kinahanglan ato ka na papasun sa atong kinabuhi, magbago na ta sa atong kinabuhi, kaya si Jesus ni po yun na sa atong kasinasin. I was also drinking, smoking, I don't know what I'm saying, I was also doing that. Ang sa una, si pastor na nginabuhi sa siya ni Ana, nagainom, nagasigarilyo, sagsiya, naagan niya siya ni ikaw. People were preaching to me, but it was very, very hard for me. Sa una, doon na yung mga tao nga nagtudlo sa siya niya sama ni Ine, sa Biblia, nilagin siya mo tuo, dahil kaya ulo. Now, what happened one day I was sleeping? Isa ka adlaw, natulog siya. Ani Ana, gabi una, natulog siya. So, I heard a voice like someone is talking in my head. Nakadungog siya o boses. Nakikistorya sa iyang dalunggan. He said, if you are stubborn, you will go to hell. Just like that, loud and clear. Usog kayo nga ginoon nga, kung bilig yung kamukuro, o gahi ang inuulo mo, at tugig ka sa impyerno. So, I woke up, I continued hearing that voice. Pagkadungog niya niya, atong nga dinog, nakamata siya, pero hanggang siya ang pagmata, nga sige lang dihapon o sulti ang tingo dito sa iyang niya una. From that day, I said, oh please God, forgive me please, I repented from that day. Mauto nga niya, itong adlawa, naingon siya, ginoo ka sa inuwa ko, musunod na ko pa niyo, ako nang ibiyaan ang akong sala. So now, the same God is sending me to you, to warn you. So ang ginoo nga Diyos nga nag-ingon ka niya, mausad ang nagpadala ka niya karoon, para ka na itong tanan na maminaw sa mayong balita. May I listen to him and I repented. So now, it's to you. It's up to you. Maniminaw siya sa busi sa atong Diyos. Siya nag-repent na siya. Nag-inolsod. Karoon, sa inyo nasad nga katungod, sa inyo pagkadungog sa mensahe, sa inyo nasad nga desisyon, kumusunod ba ka mukhang kasto. So, I will ask you to open your heart so that we pray together. Ako nga nyo, ng kanan na abihan, ang mga kasing-kasing na ito, o musunod lamang sa pag-ampo sa ato. So, even there, I will ask you to open your heart and then repeat what I say. Abihan, nanay, ang ato mga kasing-kasing, sundo 
lang ang gisulti sa atong aming sahero diri at lamang sundon. Ask Jesus to forgive our sins. Atong hangyo ng atong ginong Jesus na pasayon ta sa atong masala. Not me, but Jesus. Dili ang atong sahero kundi ang atong Diyos. Ang atong istoryahon, no? Personal na ito siyang istoryahon. Are we ready? At katatanan, andam na ba? Okay. So, repeat what I say. Sunod lang sa maiksi na pag-ampo. Usay yung iingon, inyo lang po isulti. Isulti lang, ikumpisan o isulti sa atong mga baba. So, you repeat what she's saying. Isulti lang ang kungon sa ang isulti sa atong mensahero ka. With all your heart. Sa inyong tigo kakasing kasing. Say, Lord Jesus. Gino Jesus. I am a sinner. Makasasala ako. Thank you for dying for my sins. Salamat sa pagpakamatay ni mo sa akong nasala. I repent my sins today. Nagkinulsod ako sa akong nasala karong adlawa. Forgive me, Lord Jesus. Pasaylo ako, Gino Jesus. Write my name. Isulat niyo ang ako ng alam. In the book of life. Sa libro sa kinabuhi. Remember me. Alalahan niyo ako ng ano? In your kingdom. Sa imong kaharian. I denounce Satan. Ako ng ipalaya si Satanas sa ako ng kinabuhi. With all his works. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Okay. So thank you so very much for your commitment. Thank you so much for taking your time to listen to us. God bless you. Just stay faithful. Turn away from sin. Pray to Jesus. Salamat daw kaayo sa inyo nga oras, sa inyong pagpamati na inahanglan ko no nga magbasa na ta Biblia. Mo adto ta sa kasimbahanan nga kung asa kita mutubo ang atong pagtuo, dayon atong gyud nga istoryahon ng atong Ginoong Hesus. Kung sa pag istorya, pag ampo sa atong Ginoong Hesus, magampo ta personal ta magampo sa Ginoo mangayo ta kapasayuan permi kay permi kita wa ta mang dili man ta perpekto no. So kita mangayo ta kapasayuan sa Ginoo, muli kay ta sa sala, tabangan ta sa Ginoo ta gaanta niya og kusog pagbatok sa atong mga sala. Amen. Amen. So salamat tayo. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Bye. I am not the one who heals, it's Jesus Christ who heals. So, Jesus, Jesus Christ is alive, you just have to believe in Him. Okay. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Oh God Almighty, I pray, Holy Spirit, I release your fire now, I release your power in this body right up now. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, whatever that is not of God in this body, I command you to start living in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak the fire of the Holy Spirit right up now. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus Christ, every sickness, I command you to come out now. Come out now in the name of Jesus Christ, in the blood of Jesus. You sickness, you disease, you have no power, you have no authority in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, you have no power, you have no authority. I command you to live in the name of Jesus Christ right now. Right up now. Your sickness, I command you to start living now. Pack and go. In the authority of Jesus Christ, right up now, in the name of Jesus Christ, you have no power in this body, you have no authority in this body, you sickness, live in the name of Jesus Christ, right now, I command you to come out now, I command you to come out now, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, right now, live, live in the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, Examine this body now. Holy Spirit, examine this body right up now. 
every sickness go every sickness go you business right now pack and go right up now in the name of jesus christ in the power of the holy spirit in the blood of jesus christ in the name of jesus oh holy spirit thank you for your power thank you for your blood thank you for your blood jesus thank you for your mercy have mercy on her have mercy on her lord jesus have mercy on her in the name of jesus christ thank you lord jesus thank you lord jesus i pray for your protection oh lord protect her oh god heal her oh god bless our god in the name of jesus christ thank you lord jesus christ for this healing thank you lord jesus christ for your healing in jesus name this healing is permanent in jesus name never must you come back again in the name of jesus your sickness never must you come back again it's a command in jesus name thank you jesus in jesus name amen thank you so much god bless you you want bible story Huh? Thank you, everyone. Hi, thank you so much for watching my video. If you really like it, if you are being blessed, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification so that you may be the first one to see my next video. Stay blessed. God bless you.